bottom dollars. Chapter 9, The Chance to Rise. Stephanie Woodward waits for the next question from the interviewer. So what am I missing? What haven't I asked you about that's important? How do we change it? Justin Young speaks to a camera at a protest of goodwill. Section 14C of the Fair Labor Standards Act uh, says that people with disabilities can be paid sub-minimum wage. We don't feel that's right. We feel our rights should be honored, just like every other population in this nation. I'm Jensen Terbalo. I'm an activist for disability rights. Protesting isn't something that we do first. We always, you know, take other advocacy avenues. Once we know that we're not getting anywhere, we organize actions. You, you get in people's faces and you let them know this isn't right, we're not going to stand for this. No pun intended. <laughs> Protesters hold up signs with slogans like sub-minimum equals subhuman. 14C certificate under the Fair Labor Standards Act says that people with disabilities are less than everyone else. And we don't deserve to get paid like everyone else. And that's wrong. We have the power to, to make that change. A painting on the side of a building in Tiffin, Ohio. Barbara Corner from Disability Rights, Ohio. If somebody in a sheltered workshop or their parent or guardian wishes to challenge their wages, they can file a request with the Department of Labor. Pamela shops for supplies. We decided that we wanted to follow that process. Pamela Stewart. Judge is ruling on our behalf, and he feels the same way we do, that we're being mistreated. I make minimum wage now, and I'm happy about that. I want to be able to move up to where I'm getting paid really good. Pamela threads a needle. Well, I could go back to California. Not sure how much a plane ticket costs nowadays to go there. Jim Larson from Morningside. I really had a celebration of closing the shelter workshop. It was uh, the second best day of my, uh, my career. The first one was being signing the letters back to the Federal Department of Labor and saying, I choose not to renew this certificate. Uh, 2014, we stopped paying uh, subminimum wages. Brendan cleans dishes at work. Amy Messer. New Hampshire was the first in the nation to eliminate sub-minimum wage for people with disabilities. Charles Beeble walks with his white cane. By the year 2020, Maryland is supposed to phase out paying sub-minimum wages to people with disabilities, you know, blind people and such. And that's a good thing. Stephanie Woodward. A minimum wage is just that. The minimum any worker should receive. Title, 48 states still allow sub-minimum wage. Gloria Marrero uses sign language. Oh yeah, I want to earn more money. Well sure, I'd like to have a little bit more money. Gloria smiles. Joe plays a bell during church. LaRon Jackson. After I got that check of two dollars and 50 cent for working in a hot workshop with hot big fans, I said I quit. I can go find me something else to do. Teresa watches Dexter work. Cheryl Bates Harris. If individuals are given the proper services and supports and proper assistive technology, the sky is the limit for many, many individuals. Hugh Bertolin. I make mean, 9.59 an hour. Now I get four weeks vacation. I get paid for my vacation. Sarah Frost. I want to move more, move up more at Children's in the receiving department. Laron drives his wheelchair through his office. I went to school. I got my degree. I work with disability and rights, Mississippi. I'm an advocate for people with disabilities. Trust Jones. I've been working for two years, had multiple, had great internships and jobs. Trust holds up his paycheck proudly. And it's not just for me. It's not just for me, Trust Jones, lives in Mississippi. It's to every state. Joe bags popcorn, Sarah at the subway. To the Northeast. Dexter pushes carts. The Southwest. The Midwest. Pamela sews. I may have a disability, but I can still work. Photo of President Roosevelt in a wheelchair. I am still convinced that the American people continue to insist on sincere respect for the need of all people at the bottom who need to get work. Sarah, guiding a horse. And through work, to get a really fair share of the good things of life. Andy, smiling at the bowling alley. Joe skis towards the camera. 
and a chance to save and a chance to rise. Share the full film in your community. Host a screening, bottomdollarsmovie.com. End credits roll. Produced and directed by Jordan Melograna. Executive producers, David Carlson, Mark Stroh. Cinematography and editing by Jordan Melograna. Associate producer, Tina Pinedo. Original music by Katrina Melograna. Thank you to those who appeared in the film. Melanie Oyer, Gloria Marrero, Mark Ricobono, Cheryl Bates-Harris, Pamela Stewart, Barbara Corner, Laron Jackson, Charles Beeble, Roy Roca, James Metters, Betty Williams, Stephanie Woodward, Tillman Mitchell, Dorothy Mitchell, Joan Farish, Sarah Frost, Robin Frost, Scott Frost, Tanya Hart Newker, Susan Cass, Jim Larson, Hugh Bertolin, Dexter Smith, Yolanda sandoval Nez, Teresa Jim, Andy Owens, Cynthia Owens, Adam Henry, Joe Steffi, E.R. Steffi, Ray Steffi, Janet Steffi, Trust Jones, Tiffany Boyd, Amy Messer, Brendan Welch, Liz Duncan, Justin Young, Jensen Caraballo, Sound Editor and Mixer, Justin Newton, Audio Description Narrator, Tina Marie Murray, Opening Titles Designed by Mariah Burton, Jordan Melograna, Production Assistants, Courtney Cole, Vanessa Link, Rebecca Price, Kukis Robledo, Paul Shaver, Outreach and Promotion by Kirsten Holmdale, Tina Pinedo, Stacey Seabrecht, ASL Interpreter, Stuart Tennis, Sign on Hearing, Speech and Deafness Center, Archival Footage provided by Rick Ray Shutterstock, Pond 5, Additional Footage, Courtesy of Disability Rights Mississippi, the National Federation of the Blind, Special Thanks, the National Disability Rights Network, Kansas Disability Rights Center of Kansas, Rocky Nichols, Mike Burgess, Lewisburg Cider Mill, Snow Creek Ski Resort, Jennifer Stratton, Sunflower Ringers, Beverly Williamson, New Mexico Native American Disability Law Center, Coyote Ridge, Jessica Jones, Walmart Gallup, New York, the Center for Disability Rights, Elizabeth Forbes, Maryland, Chris Danielson, the National Federation of the Blind, Ohio, Stacey Brandon Smith, Disability Rights Ohio, Michael Kirkman, Mississippi, Bob Boyd, Honda, Disability Rights Mississippi, Gathering Grounds Coffee Shop, La Quinta Inn and Suites, Vicksburg, Ann McLean, Shirley Walker, Oregon, Michelle Afrozo, Tara Asai, Disability Rights Oregon, Powell's Books, Sunset Lanes, New Hampshire, Boston Children's Hospital, Brian Becker. Andrea Dugan, Disability Rights Center, New Hampshire. Giddy Up Farm, Julia Freeman Wolpert, One Sky Community Services, VPNE, Washington, Heather McKimmy, Lori Schindler, Morningside Services, Stacy Siebrecht, produced with generous support from Disability Rights Washington. Produced by Rooted and Rights.